guys, welcome to The Secret Life of Snakes. It's really good to see you again. I am going to talk about today the feeding of snakes, uh, specifically corn snakes, and the sizes and the names that they're called, the quantity and how often. And the reason that I wanted to do this is because I found it really tricky and I think it is quite a difficult subject, particularly if you're new to the hobby. So I'm going to put a chart up for you all to see so that I can talk you through it and if you've got any comments or questions please pop them below and I'll be really really pleased to answer them. So the easiest way to check what to feed your snake is the size of the snake itself. So you need to weigh your snake firstly and I don't want you to look at the size of the head. Nina's head is really really small and even though it's small she can still eat pretty big mice. Um, the way you check what they eat is by going to the biggest part of their body which is roughly the middle and you don't want to feed anything bigger than the, the biggest part of your snake. So if you feed the same size as your snake, that little bit in the middle there, then you're in the right ballpark. So cracking on. If you've got a snake that's four to 15 grams, you want to give them a feeder size of one to three grams. So you do need to weigh your feeders when you buy them from the shop and get them home because they do tend to put them in bulk buy bags and they're all different sizes. You wanna stick with pinkies and you wanna give them one of these every four days. Then when they move to 16 to 23 grams, you're gonna move up in feeder size to three to four grams, but you're still gonna buy a pinky, which means no fur completely naked. You wanna go up in the quantity though, you wanna give them two of these every four to five days. When they get to 24 to 30 grams, you're going to move to five to seven gram feeders, but you're gonna move from pinkies to small fuzzies. And this basically means that they've got fur on them. You're going to give them one of these and you're gonna do it every five to six days. When they weigh 31 to 50 grams, you're then gonna move up in size for your feeder. You're gonna give a feeder size of seven to nine grams and you will probably see that the name changes from small fuzzies to regular fuzzies. You're gonna give them one of these every five to six days. Then when they move to 51 to 90 grams, you're going to give them a different size feeder. You're going to move to a nine to 12 gram feeder and the name changes again from fuzzy to hopper. Now this does change depending on where you're getting them from, but this is what I found for my local store. You're gonna give them one of these six to seven days. Then when they go to 91 to 170 grams, you're going to give them 13 to 20 gram feeder size. You're then going to notice that the name changes to weanlings. Now this is important. This means that the actual mouse has moved away from its parent. It's not suckling anymore and it's been put onto a feed. So that is gonna be one of those and you're gonna give them every seven days. Now when they reach 171 to 300 grams, you're gonna give them a feeder size of 20 to 30 grams, and this is a young adult mouse. You're gonna give them one of these every 10 days, or seven to 10 days, and this is a real good adult sized snake. When they get to 300 grams plus, you're going to move to 25 gram adult mice, but the weight will vary, so this is why it's really important that you weigh your mice so that you make sure that you're giving them a consistent size feed. You're gonna give them one of these every 10 to 14 days. Now the reason the days spread out so much is because the feeder is much bigger and you want their weight to be consistent. You don't want them to end up fat, so you don't wanna overfeed them too soon. Um, so that's why those days separate out. If you're breeding your females, then you do want to fatten them up because they tend to lose a lot of weight when they're laid their eggs and during this period they tend to go off feed. So what I'd recommend is that you actually feed them 25 gram feeders, so the same as what you would before. You're breeding them but you're gonna feed them more often, so you're gonna feed every five to 11 days rather than every 10 to 14 days. I hope that this has helped you guys. If you've got any questions, please put your comments below. I hope that you liked it. Give me a big thumbs up if you did and hit subscribe if you haven't already. For those of you that haven't hit that notification bell, please do because that means that you'll be getting those videos as and when I upload them. Thanks for watching. Bye.